Hello everyone, John Henderson Pierre back. Beer Ramble looking at Whole Garden. Wit beer, or as say the original Belgian wheat beer. 4.9% uh, alcohol by volume, or ABV I like to say. Uh, didn't open it all the way, Mr. P. Uh, good score on Beer Advocate. Um, introducing 14, 45, uh, good score, Beer Advocate, as well as the Bros, around the 80s, somewhere around there. Um, um, this has been brewed in Belgium, was part, was, uh, became part of InBev in 2005. And then, of course, InBev bought out Anheuser-Busch in 2008, so now they're part of that conglomerate as well. As you can see. Mm. My beer is about to overflow. Now, it says two things on the website. You go to Anheuser, the Anheuser-Busch website, part of InBev. Um, they'll say it's a Belgian-style wheat ale, Belgian wheat ale style. And then if you go to Beer Advocate, it says wit, a wit beer, W-I-T-B-I-E-R, wit, wit beer. So let's look at the color here. Nothing fancy, nothing too interesting. A little cloudy, very very light, light. Looks like it's drinking some sort of orange aid juice, as you can see. Cloudy, but a very light cloudy color. Nice foam. You should definitely smell some wheat. Definitely smell a lot of some malts in this. A delicious and surprising, refreshing taste. Naturally cloudy and brewed using a unique recipe of wheat, malt barley, and a subtle hint of coriander and orange peel. I'm definitely scenting a lot of coriander, more coriander than orange peel in this beer. So, definitely a lot of that. So, on to the taste. This beer has been around for a long, long time. I picked it up at Rouse's, of course. Rouse's, I meant to say, in uh, Sarah Land. Paid $1.79 for the bottle. You know, I just see something I like, I grab. I don't get the whole, was one of the good things about Rouse's. And since they've came down, since we've had the store here, the only store that came close to that was, you know, maybe, maybe the Cottage Hill Package Store in um, on Cottage Hill Road in Hillcrest in Mobile, Alabama, where I live at, if you don't know. Um, you know, when I moved down here in 2006, there was really not much. I mean, there were some craft spots you can get. Some supermarkets were selling it, but it wasn't a lot of it of uh, beers being from other cities, other other states you know, across the country. So there were a few, some, but not many. So anyway, um, now there's like so many of them. Rouse's again, stores like Rouse's and you know. Uh, Publix, of course, um, you have a couple of specialty shops uh, here in Mobile, some across the bay, as we like to call it, um, Baldwin County, you know, um, around Foley, Fairhope, uh, Daphne, Spanish Fort, some stores um, have sell some of it, but now they're pretty much everywhere uh, now, so which is kind of good, you know. There's other beers out there besides Bud Light and Miller Light. And High Life, which is my standby beer, by the way. But anyway, on to the taste. I've had wood beers before. Um... I think of one that comes out to mind I've had previously or before on my channel that I've reviewed. Uh, I'm not going to say Blue Moon. Um, 
maybe Blue Moon. No, yeah, Blue Moon you could say is on that list, but I had another. There's another wood beard I had. I, for sure, I could look at my channel that I've had before, but this is about the same. Same style. We'll say the table pills had a little bit of that, but no. Um, this beer is good for the summertime. Again, it's very light. 4.9% is pretty decent enough. It's not overly, you know, like 6 or 7%. Most with with beers are within that alcohol range of 4. Point, between 4.6 or 4.9. Yeah. So it's kind of mild, you know. You can knock back maybe six or let me excuse me, six. I mean maybe five of these, you know, so I mean that's it's good. Um it's good. Uh Brewed with spices, as I said on the on the on the bottle. Anu fourteen forty five, which I just did recently. The Lefe Blonde also had a. It didn't have the same style, or, but it was sort of similar in taste, but different style, of course, altogether. But um. I won't go on about this beer. I'm, I'm sure you've seen it. If you've, um, wherever you live across the country, around the world, I'm sure you've had this before. And um, ain't nothing really to kind of cry, you know, go overly into this beer. Um, for me, wit, uh, wit beers are not my thing. It's not something I'll go and get or buy a lot of. Um, you know, usually the lagers I tend to go get, you know, whatever is a standby beer in my refrigerator. Um, but these are not beers that are everyday things for me to, to say, hey, you know, I'm going to have this today, uh, you know, or this today. And just give me an ice house, give me Mo Mo Milwaukee's best light, you know, whatever. But um, it's something, like I said, I, I can have, you know, here and there, not every day. So, but uh, again, for the time of year we're in right now, and you'll see a lot of these, the fruit flavor beers, um, you know, the, the, those are all the rage now, the fruit flavor beers, which I don't know why. The Red's Apple and the, and the Hard Cider and the Wicked, the Wicked is good. Wicked Apple and the uh, Mango, which I will do a review. Those are good, but, you know, they're not everyday things but those what's popular right now that and also the beers that are so light you know miller 64 you know the you know bud select 55 and if you want to go Michelob ultra i mean that's that's four percent you know um, there's some other light beers i think are pretty good that are about you know 3.8 3.9 percent um like old milwaukee light that's that's very doesn't taste like it's uh, 3.9 percent. Tastes like it's like it's brethren. It's big brother, old Milwaukee, which is about at 4.5, I think. Don't hold me to that, but but yeah, light beers, really light beers. Um, you know, the the summer shandies by Line and Kugel. I know that's popular. Um, you know. No, those those are good to have, but they're they're not for me. Give me a standard, typical, you know, light lager or pilsner. They like to call them. I'll have that, but for the summertime, for for the summer, I guess. But um, won't go on. Um, I'm gonna give this beer uh, eight and a half. That would be a that would be a B plus. Um, eight is a B. B minus, you like to say, um, but uh, eight and a half for me for this beer. I th it's it's good. It's reasonable, very enjoyable. 
a salad, uh, grilled chicken, a ni nice salad um, with those things in it, or you know, uh, something with some you know real veggies. You know, this this beer would pair well with that. You know, I think to me. So, um, we'll go on. Eight and a half score for me. If you've had this, and this was an eight and a half score, maybe lower, or you just want to say, hey, I'm good looking. Uh, leave your comments and thoughts on the bottom, and subscribe to my channel. So, eight and a half score for the whole garden. Wit Blanche, the original Belgian wheat beer, introduced in 1445. John has appeared at the Bill Ramble team. Keep on watching, and as always, cheers!